Think about this. Since humans have walked the earth, we've been engineers. Bows and arrows, hats and shoes, boats and cars, you name it, someone engineered it. Virtually everything you use in your day-to-day -day life has been invented, no, engineered by someone at some time. And not just the big things like skyscrapers, airplanes, bridges, and spaceships. Actually, engineering is the design and building of anything. And you've probably engineered some things yourself. Like when you made that huge fort from just a few blankets and broomsticks. Or that time you didn't have a sled, so you tried to use a cardboard box instead. Okay, so that didn't work so well, but you get the point. That was engineering. You see, engineering is problem solving, no matter how big or small the challenge. At National Geographic, our explorers face lots of challenges and have to engineer some pretty creative solutions. Some of these creative solutions use the same technology that robots use. Robots can do lots of things. But one thing many robots do is collect information about their environment. These robots use sensors, like a camera or thermometer, to gather information about their environment. Then the robot decides on an action to take based on the information it just collected. For a robot, collecting this information is really important when it comes to taking action and solving problems, both big and small. Now it's your turn to solve up to three big challenges that explorers often face when they're in the field by using your own robot-like design. Your solution must collect information about its immediate environment and use that information to decide an action to take, the way a robot might. The resulting action can be as big or as small as you can imagine. We want you to tell us your best ideas for our engineering exploration challenge. To get started, you need to know the engineering process. So, step one. Define your problem by defining what success will look like. For example, I want to take a picture of a lion acting naturally in the wild. Step two, do your research. Make a list of questions you have about your problem and then answer them. Step three, propose a solution. Note we said a solution, not the solution. There are often several ways to solve a problem. And be sure to plan how you will test your design. Step four, design it. Think about your proposed solution from every angle. What is it made of? What information will it collect about its environment? How will it collect that information? What will it decide to do based on the information collected? How will you make it? Step five, build it. Finally, it's time to create your vision. Get your hands dirty and see what your design looks like off the paper. And finally, step six, test it. You've brought your idea to life but now it's time to give it a try. Trust us, in our experience, it will probably have some minor or major kinks at first, but each fix is a chance to learn something new. Determine what went wrong and make the changes you need to make it even better. That's engineering at its finest. When you are satisfied with your invention, enter your design into the Engineering Exploration Challenge for a chance to have your solution featured in the new National Geographic Kids book everything robotics. Be sure to tune into live Google Hangouts throughout the summer to ask National Geographic engineers questions about your solution. And everyone who is qualified and submits a solution to National Geographic will receive a free movie ticket to the new film Robots 3D. Submit your solution to the National Geographic Kids Engineering Exploration Challenge and show us how you explore your world, discover how it works, and engineer your explorations.